three, two. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Anime Izekai Podcast. Anime. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. Oh, oh, again. <laughs> okay. One, two. Solid. Go. Ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, sorry, I got you. I'll feed you the words and then you just repeat after me, okay? Dude, that's gonna be confusing. This is gonna take a while. Uh, okay. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast Week 6 of the Summer 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every single week. I'm not your host, but I'm going to let Shred take over now. <laughs> we are the stand-in hosts for uh, David. He's uh, currently, uh, according to Sasha, in a different country. but He's in Afghanistan, there, according there to reports. Go. There you go, that one. <laughs> but uh, joining us today, we have Ku. Hi. Brian, like you said so already. Yep. Taylor. Hi. And we have Sasha. Hello. Okay, so I don't think we had there was really any kind of like noteworthy anime news. Um, if anybody has thought of anything or came across anything, but I don't remember seeing anything noteworthy. There's that BL movie that's coming out. Oh yeah. Yep. BL. BL. Boy, yeah. boy, love. It's basically it's two dudes. It's one of those ones. It's like your oh, anime, no. Black Lotus. Really? You guys don't know what BL is? Nope. We've been nope. this. We've been, would... in, we've been doing this for over forty episodes, and you guys don't know what that is. That's shameful. It's, it's not baloney like, liquor. Sorry. <laughs> I don't take it. Uh, yeah, I don't accept the it. official the official full length tra- trailer for Umibe no Kanje. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to say that with the Japanese accent or what, but. That's coming out. It's mm. pretty good manga. I think people that read the manga will be excited. Yeah. Uh, well, besides that, um, just hot, hot news. We got nothing else. Um, so we will start off the show with God of High School. Who would like to start this? Hey, oh, my boy. It's fucking wild card, man. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, going to Jin Mori. <laughs> fucking no one saw that coming. I, I mean, I, I think most people saw it coming. Yeah, we, we yeah, all saw yeah, it. yeah, I know. No sarcasm, bro. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I personally thought the fight was very well done. Um, uh, you got to see Han Dewey's uh, Force Stance, uh, Zero Dragon. That shit was dope. Um, uh, they they had, like, the, the, the sort of ink, the ink animation style, the fight. I thought that was completely different and it worked very well so i thought that was actually really cool it was, it was very dope. well done i mean i personally felt like they, they they took it from street fighter 4 ultra or street fighter 5 ultra yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. i feel like i had the same vibe but i thought it was really well done though yeah let's see uh th- that this um this episode actually brought you know tears as well like this the story brought you tears well this one like, like the back the, was it the the story between like him and his uh, his other friend? Mm. That whole thing was uh, was really good. I thought that was a uh... oh, it's, it's very cliche. Yeah, so I guess it didn't hit me as hard. Yeah, well, so I, I mean, I was also kind of confused, like why I even got like teary eyed about the whole thing. I'm not quite sure why. Um, it would have been interesting to see kind of like the fight if they were both actually like at their kind of like normal levels. Even though I, I would never have thought like Han was gonna be that strong. Compared to, like just like how strong like the the, the MC has uh, been kind of like made out to be, unless it's just like well because it seemed like he was just kind of going easy on him until he actually snapped out of it, but then he took mm. he just got destroyed in the process, so that could have also like hampered him as well. But I'm not quite sure. Uh, oh, we're not okay. Before the final, we completely forgot about the the uh, the, the fight that um, that Jin had before Han, where it was like well it was like like a one shot thing. Two shots. But yeah, three, that was garbage. Kicks. It doesn't matter. He okay. was like the the Tai Chi guy versus the. Um, oh, that's right. Uh, okay, that's right. The guy. It was just like completely one sided. I don't Actually, think it really mattered. Was it Taekwondo and was it Jiu Jitsu? Yeah, BJJ. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what I thought. I don't remember. Yeah, except for 
I hate to nitpick, but you know, I followed martial arts for most of my life, and jujitsu is literally you lay on your back or you try to grapple the guy. <laughs> like I started doing capoeira moves. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was, I was so like this entire time, I thought this dude was like capoeira fire, and uh, they say he's BJJ. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, mm, I don't think that's how they engage people in BJJ. So, guys, this this is just a new style, okay? It's a uh... yep. Yeah, it's a very like, yeah. offensive style of BJJ. Just That's like kicking people. <laughs> That's like me having the style of boxing and I just shoot for a takedown. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would work too. But you know. Yeah, it, it totally works. Yeah. yeah, that fight was a lot more lackluster than I thought it was going to be. I'm like, oh, maybe they're going to build some tension here or there. But uh, no, it, it just boom, it was over. I thought I had nice scenes here and there. But overall, I mean, I guess it, it could have it could have been better, or it could have been mm -hmm. more because it was just like fights with them. But then again, we do have half of the uh, was half the season left, and then this is kind of like only prelim preliminary stuff. Mm -hmm. So now we get to like to the real the real people that seem like they're on like a whole other level. When you get to probably see like more JoJo like spirit things come out of people, I'm sure. Oh yeah, especially that one guy at the end of the episode who's just looking. He's like, mm, yes, oh, yeah. this is a joke. <laughs> You know, he's going to be gangster. He reminds you of Joker from Fire Force. Yeah. Like, you just put yeah. a wig on. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. I, I could, cool. yeah, I could, I could see that. Kind of a long shot, but... but this episode, hey, you know what I guess... They say? What do they say? I don't know. I just... It's all... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Horrible. But, so, for, like, for this episode, besides kind of, like, the backstory stuff that we kind of already knew, and then and the fight, there was really not much more to it. Um, they kind of wasted like a little bit on like the, like, the jujitsu fighter that really didn't matter at all. Um, yeah, like I completely forgot about him until you brought it up just because it was like a legit like 30 second fight. Oh, yeah, it was it was pretty pointless. Um, did they... says he does BJJ and ends up doing capoeira and then he gets his face kicked in. That's about it. <laughs> did um, did they pre like uh, preview all the other fighters or just some of them? Uh, they didn't like Someone, preview, right? preview, like tell them, tell people like what they did, like how how are you supposed to explain the fucking nerd in glasses that has a bat and a book what his fighting style is? Hmm. Like they just didn't go into detail. Like you sort of just saw and like just figured, oh, this 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 chick is like, she, they said like she's a WWE like women's champion or some shit. And right. You yeah. just find all that way. So we'll find out with like the basically like the who's all like made it into this the into the actual God of High School tournament. We'll yeah. just kind of like find out like, like they, one of them. Oh, you're talking about the other people? Yeah, yeah. they haven't even revealed any yeah. of the other people. They just, they just previewed what they look like and some of them, right? I don't. Did they preview all of them or just some of them? Like, how, I, do we, probably just oh. some of them. Yeah, okay. I'd say yeah. Do we? Because look, look at that cult, man. They got a lot of people in there. Yeah. Do we know how many people are at this tournament? No. No, I don't think so. No idea. Gotcha. No. Nope. I don't think it matters because they could just add some random wedding drama like they did last time. Hey, yeah. we got no time for this, man. That 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 uh, I know. That armor. That armor was it the was it the uh, the plot armor that has been broken off and it's gone. We know her story now. There's, and then she's not even in the tournament. So, dude, matter. why can't you have to give plot armor to the one guy who needed it? Again, the hospital. Come on, man. You just <laughs> go kill him off like that. <laughs> well, they took off the plot armor after it already happened. I guess if that counts for anything. Yeah, that's messed up. Yeah, this guy, the main character, can eat a peach that destroys whatever his intestines, whatever whatever that peach did. But this other guy, you know, he's he's literally in a hospital and he's getting help and he has to die. That's just man, that's that's it's cold. He's not, a, he's not a tiger cub, you know. So that's yeah, do, do you think yeah, that's true. I wonder if he was as strong as Han. You know, no, uh, I, no, I want to like. I think Han whooped his ass. Yeah, basically. Uh, his ass. Yeah, that's why he's like, "Oh, hey man, when someone beats you up and it's a fair fight, you know, you gotta give him credit." I'm paraphrasing, but I'm pretty sure he said something like that in the episode. And Han was like, "You're stupid. I'm gonna be your friend because I have this attitude." But everyone's stupid. It's like Sasuke. I don't know. I feel like this episode, man. Like I loved the first few episodes. I was like, "Yeah, bro, just give me that action. Just put it straight into my veins. Don't even give me a story." And then when they try to do a story, but they rush it or they do it sloppily, man, the action just in the, doesn't feel as a good. So, I uh, I don't know. I get Han and, and this guy, but honestly, I'm more interested in this crew of characters: the guy with the cross hands, and then uh, 
Joker lookalike dude and that whole crew and all the uh, JoJo's. What do they call them? JoJo's when they have those things pop out. Stands. Stands. Yeah. Damn, so, you know the name of them? I didn't even. I didn't even watch the show. I just know that they that sounds legit, up. man. Yeah, I watched the first season the two first two seasons i don't remember what it was but i don't remember the stands well, though, Jones, damn. what you yeah, stop? I don't know. there's so much left um because yeah. i thought jojo was good but i didn't think it was like so damn good i have to continue with it and then they i, I figured out they uh or i didn't figure out but um they switched the main character every season and i liked the first original crew so I don't know. I've heard the the following seasons get even better. I just haven't given it a try. Gotcha. Oh, yep. Okay. But okay, yeah, it's just unique. It's one of those shows where it's like it's different, um, but it's not necessarily like making me want to watch all the rest of the seasons. But mm-hmm. in terms of God of High School, yeah, I don't know. The animation's slick. It's good, but you know, I, give me something like that's you, you take your time with the characters, or or it's more meaningful. Like I don't see like Han. I'm sorry, man. This, this guy's lack of personality and him just being like, yeah, I don't trust people because, you know, I don't got time for them and I'm the leader of the school gang and uh, I, I don't respect you and I think everybody's stupid. I'm like, gosh, you know, you just ruined this guy's character. If he would have just stuck around as being like the overly nice guy who's a waiter and, you know, the only time he beats people up is when his friends' lives are on the line, that would have been so much more interesting to me as opposed to this just like, yeah, man, I stick to myself. You know, I've got this code, you know, I don't, I don't shake people's hand, you know. So, <laughs> like, he's willing to punch a girl's kidney to make her bleed, but you know, don't don't cross that line and make fun of my friend who has cancer. It's like, bro, come on. That's fair. It's all about that equality, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. So honestly, this episode hurt his character more in my view, and uh, it ruined the tension in the fight because you're like, okay, what's going to happen now? Um, so that's why I'm curious to hear more about these cult people and see what their powers are. And obviously they have this ultimate goal. So, um, well, do you think, we'll see, we'll see. Do you think, um, uh, his more, his character was more, um, like where he just like went straight for like the kidney was more because like his friend was a dying and he basically just wanted to like rush it or get, get to it. Um, no, they explained he, it that, uh, they wanted him to do it in a convincing fashion. So that's why he was trying to kill her as fast or like get her down as fast as possible yeah because it's part of the agreement he had with the uh with the leader of the organization so yeah yeah so it could have been and even that. then like i get he, he's gonna go to extreme measures but come on man yeah i don't know i just i'm not a big fan of his character anymore i wasn't like a huge fan of his character from the beginning but i was starting to buy into him and uh you know i felt like it could have been the pacing. It could have been them just like burning through thirty chapters in one episode, but mm-hmm. it just it didn't feel like it landed right for me. Which is why this episode action was awesome as always. But then just the story, I was like, man, eh, give me some more, there. Give me some more. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, the one thing is, I don't know if we're gonna be seeing much more of him. I mean, I'm sure he'll be there as like you know like a side character, but I don't think he's his like fighting is gonna be much at all anymore. Hey man, he's a tiger cub. Like it could be, who knows? But anybody got yeah, anything else? Oh god. No, it's, it's just really um it, it makes me a little curious as to why you would develop these characters and they're not part of the tournament anymore. So what what roles do they really have in a show, right? Um uh, other than like supporting cast, but unless they plan to train with them to make them stronger. It, I find it weird how they're gonna introduce these characters, get them knocked out of the tournament, and then now it's time for the, the main event and they're not a part of it anymore. Well the manhwa is still going. For a lot, so I'm sure they have more character development with both of those guys. Yeah, uh, from my uh, sources, um, <laughs> they've told me like how the pacing of this goes. Like, yeah. imagine like the series of Dragon Ball, right? You have Dragon Ball Z and then Super, right? Uh-huh. So imagine the story starting in Dragon Ball and then skipping Z and going straight into Super. That's what I've heard it's gonna be like. So like plot i have really low expectations for its plot like all together i'm just here for the fight to do okay mm, that's probably a good like, way to look at it the power scaling <laughs> right here like the power scaling a- scaling after this is going to be like insane, insane. like the, the power scaling system is actually going to be just like do, just insane do we get to see people's levels later on cuz i don't think we have seen any of the main characters levels I was actually when I first saw those watches, like, oh damn, we get to see like uh, we get power levels in a sense, and we haven't got to see any of them. We got to see yeah, like level yeah. twos and threes. 
I, I have no idea. I feel like them introducing like the wrists power level, what like the scouter, the, pretty much the scouters, like they just introduced that for like a later thing. Cause like legit within these five episodes, I probably saw that watch three times total. And oh. twice was in one episode. And the other time was this episode when like she was like, oh, they have other fighters in this hospital. It wasn't a fighter. It was that dude that has cancer that's dying. Yeah, because he injected the nano machines in them. So, so basically, it just it cha- it just uh, tracks by nano machines. Apparently, I guess, yeah. Yeah, sounds oh. like it. Okay. I bet cool. you they're lying, dude. Those nano machines <laughs> are just Tic Tacs in a little like epipen. Like, oh yeah, we'll help your friend survive, dude. You just put Tic Tacs in his bloodstream. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. Or he's dead. Let's be one of those where they try to like double cross and they're just like, oh yeah, you you want to leave? You remember those nano machines? Well, they actually just eat you from inside. No, no, dude, it, that's a placebo effect, guys. That's that's what it was. I... That's how you turn this from uh, shonen. It, what's the word? Seinen for the super serious ones, the dark ones. Mm-hmm. What happens is they're a corrupt mafia ring, and what they do is they take the fighters who've been beaten up and just sell their kidneys on the black market. And you're like, oh man, that's messed up. Oh, dude, <laughs> this show just got more dense. Oh, Jin Mori. And then what they really want is Jin Mori's eyes. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the secret to, to taking over everything. Yep. It's stark crossed eyes. Yes, yes. But okay. Uh, if anybody else has anything else, we will uh, we can move on. All right. Hopefully uh, Monday, tomorrow, it, it gets better. I'm looking forward to it. But uh, mm. yeah. And let's just say the show is a little bit of a contradiction. Yes. <laughs> exactly. But all right. Next, we will talk about Fire Force. Does Anybody want to start this one? Man, fuck this pink hair bitch. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to live life to the edge and just live a dangerous life. You know, I could be happy and, you know, have a home. But no, I'd rather miss an arm and an eye and be near dying. What a fucking hoe, dude. Fuck her. I think that's the only thing I put on my notes for this week is just like, this chick just needs to die. <laughs> her it's, character? Oh. Like, I, I didn't have anything. Uh, for her, I had a lot of against her, but now I just can't stand her because when her boy, who's obviously outmatched, Panda, or as they say in Japan, Panda, shows up with that gun and he can barely hold it and he's trying to shoot that guy who you just know will blast his face off, I was like, dude, mad respect to Panda because I would never have done that. I would have let that girl die. <laughs> and he shows up and she burns him alive. And I, take it from me, guys. I had to do that once to get out of a really bad relationship. But listen, it is not worth that's that that makes you the scum of the earth, okay? So Inca, yeah, I just uh let's just say my pen ran all out of Inca for her. I, I seriously hope like when Shinra says like I'm gonna kill you, that he actually does. It better not be one of those things where like, he tried like again tries like went over the pillar and like how like she somehow becomes good. I, I just Bonnie, That's going to just... be so annoying, dude. I oh. hope he fucking gets his fucking rock star status out and fucking blasts her head to a different planet. It's like, she seems so, like, she seems so weak now, but you know that she's just going to get that, uh, she's just going to get the, um, that, that, uh, God, what is it, the, the religious buff, whatever, whatever they call it, the blessing, mm. um, oh, the, like, Adola Link or whatever. Yeah, like that, and she, she basically, she, yeah, she's just going to become, like, OP. And it's just like, oh, Christ, like, it's just going to be, it'll just be annoying having to deal with her, or just see her in general. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, yeah. I just hope she just ends up dead. No, it's kind of crazy how they created a character that everyone hates now. Um, I was, I, I didn't even know she was going to turn that route. I thought she was actually going to be a good person. But I actually wouldn't mind it, though, if we were to trade her for show to, to come to the good side. To kind of oh, balance yeah, out definitely. Color, yeah. You know? Cause then even now I feel like they're they're kind of hinting it with the uh, with the thought process that Shun was going through. So oh like what if I don't really know what they what they're going through? What if Sho really wants to be evil and he doesn't want to be a good person? You know, and then uh, the thought process is that maybe you know, he's lost him for good. So I feel like that's triggering the flag that it's 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 going to come uh, he's going to come join the good side hopefully. Mm. Yeah, that would be awesome. Um... Yeah, we'll see what the balance of pillars is by the end of. Uh, by the end of the series, or maybe potentially in this season, but it's gonna be interesting. Uh, hopefully, the other pillars are a lot more stomachable or cool, even, even if they're evil and malicious. 
because I cannot stand pink hair and electric girl. They are just so annoying. So uh, she should have <laughs> just stuck to robbing people. What yeah. if what if all the female pillars they become bad and all the male pillars become good? What if that's the, uh, what the show's trying to portray? Oh, that that would be great. I think that's a great message for society, and that's exactly <laughs> and truly representative of how it is in real life. <laughs> God, <laughs> man, it's possible. Oh, and then like, do you guys find it weird that now that they're going to China, like, I I don't know if they specified it in the first season, but they're going to a different like a different country. I thought that Japan was the only one that was left from the apocalypse. So, um, dude, that with that oh, new yeah. map, with that new map, they might as well be like one of the only ones left. There's like nothing even like left. Right. Yeah, and it turns out yeah. one of the, the fire force fighters was from China too, so he's going with them as well. Yeah. Brian, were you Wait, which that? one was it? Was it the black guy? No, it's uh, the giant oh, guy that, that shoots like yeah. rockets out of his fingers. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, that guy. Yep. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this new arc, but uh, Victor's on there, and I find him just oddly entertaining. Like, just the way he looks, I'm like, man, this guy looks like Ronald McDonald without makeup. <laughs> so, <laughs> the tweet about scientist. Speaking of which, I just saw an episode of uh, Abroad in Japan. And he said, basically, uh, they renamed Ronald McDonald because they said it would be too hard for the Japanese public to say his name correctly. So they renamed him to, to Donald McDonald. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so our, our boy, Victor Light, um, uh, I'm pretty interested, in, or Licked, or however you pronounce his last name. Um, it's I don't know. Yeah, We'll see. Well, yeah, Victor is a safe bet. We'll see what, what happens with this arc, but... I'm not the most excited about it just because it almost feels like a filler yeah. arc. Like, let's get on this boat and go to China <laughs> with some very inconsequential characters. Dude, so like, Arthur's and, there, you know, though. Whistle guy. Yeah, Arthur's there, too. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Why, um, why, why do you need to go to China? You know, there's there's so much shit going on in Japan right now. Why do you have to go to China? Weren't they getting information? Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. So you get information, but, you know, can't you just figure that shit out in Japan? I mean... Nah. Nope, sorry. They should have gotten to Indonesia. That would have been something exotic. You're like, <laughs> ooh, Indonesia's still around? But no. There was a... I don't know, like, the new team, I'm kind of I'm interested mainly in the fact, because like, I like the whistle guy. Uh, it's... I, did you I, did you guys see the preview? Actually, we won't talk about the preview. We'll, we'll leave it. No, because we'll remember you said there... Oh, by the way, what was the spoiler from the preview last time? They with showed, the girl joining the dark yeah, side? Yeah, they basically showed her leaving with them. So, oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that was uh, when I saw that. I was like, "Wait, what? Why, why the hell would they show this?" Yeah, but just like. By the, the way, I gotta say, go ahead. I'm not a fan of the stereotyping in the show because uh, one of my close friends who is Asian, I asked him like, generally speaking, which Asian ethnicity would you say are the tallest? And he goes, "Oh, Chinese by far." And I was like, "Okay, thanks." And what happens in this show? The one Chinese guy, he's like seven feet tall. That's just <laughs> that's messed up, Fire Force. <laughs> Wait, are Chinese people the tallest Asians? Really? Well, I mean, no, if you take the, the tallest. see, that's what I thought. I was going to say yeah. Koreans, but I've heard Chinese on average, like they they can get up there, man. Chinese mm -hmm. are just like heavier built, you know what I mean? But like Koreans are taller. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Chat says Korea, so chat says Korea. That yeah. that was my initial thought, but you know, my Asian buddy, he is Asian, so I, I did give him more credit for that. Well, maybe he didn't my Asian buddy is cool. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> uh. But uh, it's yeah, but yeah, the, the spoiler was basically she was joining them, so they kind of uh, kind of didn't. They kind of like, like lost like the the, the like the feel, the, like because you just know what's gonna happen. Didn't really know how, and like in a uh, yep. Shinra finally went down. He finally it's, it's, uh, he but he wasn't able to get up again. Um, so cool. They, we finally got to see that. Um, but yeah, the, but then the. Yeah. But it was messed up though how she just you know set Panda ablaze. That was kind of fucked up and and, and unnecessary. Uh, I mean, I, I, like at first I was kind of like shaken about it because like damn that's really fucked up. But I just kept thinking you know what this this is how they're gonna develop a character. This is how you develop a villain. Um, and it looks like everyone hates her. So yeah. I think you know okay job. I just hope that yeah. triggers her death. And, it's, right. I mean, and I think I think with that she's going to die in the series. Usually something like that. Um, like when it happens, they don't end up surviving throughout the, you know, for the whole series. Like they end up dying at some point, a, a terrible death, which mm -hmm. she, she also foresaw and she looked, uh, pretty bad. So hopefully that would she might, 
But I have a feeling they're going to have a redemption story for her. Like, my prediction oh, is she's going to join the good side. I just think she's irredeemable. Like, you can't come back from burning one of your homies alive. Whether or not they were just your homie because they were helping you steal things from old people. Mm-hmm. It It's still, dude. Like, she, there's nothing she could do in the show to make me say, yeah, I'm a big fan of her. Literally nothing. Yeah, there's like, nothing. So she's dead to me, and the yeah. show's done a good job of doing that. By the way, <laughs> what's up with the fourth captain not having any like fire orgasms on on this episode? That was really disappointing. Like he was just staring out a window and saying like, "Hmm, I'm, the fire wasn't as bad as the old one." But that wasn't the fire he wanted, though. He wants that. He wants the original flame, the OG flame. He wants the whole. Oh yeah, normal, OG no, flame. Bro. Normal flames aren't good enough. He wants to feel that burn, that real burn. Dude, someone else oh, get yeah. you like when. Uh, like when they showed Inca's route to burn her friend, like the start was like above his head, and then the end was like by his crotch. I was like, "Oh shit, is there going to be an explosion by his his crotch?" <laughs> it's like that's that's what a fucked up way to kill your friend, dude. I uh, dude, that's what they need. That. They need more fan service for the guys or girls. I meant <sighs> Tamaki's not with who turned who get turned on by watching a guy get his crotch blown off. Hey, there's a lot of weird people out there. <laughs> You're talking about anime fans, man. We are we are yeah. the weirdest of the weird. You got the fourth captain popping out of nowhere. Like, oh, yeah, baby. That's the flame I'm popping out. <laughs> He's like taking pictures. He's like, yeah, Panda. Yeah. Panda's like, help me. My skin's burning. He's like, Panda, keep screaming, boys. <laughs> oh, All right, guys. That, that, but, but I think I'm out. The, um, but with the Tama- <laughs> was it Tamaki's not with the party, though. Is she? She's not with them, right? I, I uh, think she's with them, isn't she? It's god, her or the other one that looks just like her. I'm sorry, I get those two confused all the time. Oh god, it's probably Tama- uh, Brian. Do you know? Was what? Tamaki was Tamaki with them to going to China? Yes. Oh, okay. Never mind. So we will still have more fan service, unnecessary fan service. But I mean, uh, it's, it's so bad better. too. Yeah, it's not. No, I mean, I think it's I think it's getting better because at least they do in Vulcan this time, and then his reaction to it was was pretty funny. I thought so. It's it, it's getting better, I guess. We'll see. Fair. We'll see. But okay. Uh, anybody else? Oh, and then we have to talk about Joker and Victor like meeting up at the last. Oh yeah, finally oh, we get a Joker yeah. scene. Honestly, we haven't seen them since like episode thirteen or fourteen. It's been forever. Of the first season, yeah. right? Yeah. So, I like how he's like, "You, you could have been a good fire force fighter." And he's like, "Yeah." Hey, hey, hey. And they show so like this... a little smoke of him if he was actually like a fire force. Right. But this should solidify that he's actually not a bad guy, right? I would assume this solidifies him as a good guy, or like a neutral mm. good guy. I would anti-hero. say anti-hero yeah. potential. Yeah, anti-hero. Yeah. yeah, anti-hero with his own his own kind of things he wants he wants done. Mm-hmm. So, but he did. Then he bug a couple people, and or did he, he, he did he kill anybody in that training? Remember when we first met him and he was like in the training building and there it was on fire. A couple of people were knocked out. I don't know if he ended up killing anybody inadvertently or directly. But not, not there. But I thought they, I thought he bugged somebody, or maybe I'm messing it up with the star-eyed guys. I forgot, mm. um, oh yeah, yeah the the guy that called you. Yes. <laughs> yep. He yep. looks just like you, man. Oh, thanks, man. No except, problem. Except he has a different personality than me. Sure. Yes. Sure. Hey, yeah. man. That that would be you if you were outrageous. If you were just like, "Hey guys, I help you. I help so, you see the light." Yeah, I'm just sitting there. It's like I need you to cheer more while I'm kicking them on the ground. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yep. I forgot all about that one guy with the one arm now too. Yeah, and uh, and he. Oh, wait, right. did he yeah, because I at first because like in the shot that they showed him, I think that like, that side was covered by the other guy, so I couldn't tell. And then they yep. mentioned like, "Oh, he you know he lost his arm." I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right. That happened." But it's, I don't know, it's too bad they're not, no, they, they didn't go with them. Um, no, I don't think so, no. So, yeah, I don't know. It, this, like, this arc, it'll be kind of, I, it, like how Sasha said, not looking for. I, I mean, I'll still see it, or watch it, but it's you know, it's definitely going to feel like filler, especially with all the main characters, you know, still in Japan. Right, yeah. And all the there better be, like, see. a seal boss or something. Like, like, oh, you can't come to the South China Sea. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like Filipino. I think that would be awesome. Okay. <laughs> like the guy from uh what was it here Academia? I forgot his name though. Yo yeah, Sulky. Sulky. Dude, yeah. that guy they did him a disservice by not having him back on the show, man. Seals are the real deal. Technically those were he was a filler, so <laughs> Dude, listen, listen. That was the best filler ever. You know, it wasn't bad. He's a pretty interesting character. But Nah, I'm just kidding, that was terrible filler. Let's gotcha. not lie. Okay. Yeah. He was just the best bad. part of it. No, that would be no. a terrible quirk to have, but 
Anyway, <laughs> anything else? Uh, no, that's it for me. Any that's about it, boy. Okay. So, the next thing we will move on is to raise zero. So, yeah. where would like to start? So, who actually watched it? Just me and Taylor, I'm assuming? I watched this, too. Oh, you watched it, too? Okay. So, yeah, uh, there is a bunch of shit going on here. Uh, it looks like uh, Subaru's finally meeting his end, and there's going to be a restart point. Uh, as to how far back it goes, I we have no idea. Um, but it looks like he's able to pass the trial, and there's three different trials altogether. But Amelia is having trouble, so uh, that's kind of the whole point of this episode. Just trying to get her hyped up and able to f- pass the trials on her own. Uh, but what do you guys think about the episode? Uh, I thought I thought it was it was pretty decent. Uh, Subaru is like. He, he keeps trying to get Amelia to, to like get through the trial, but mm-hmm. like I don't know who said it, but said pretty much does she really want to like meet her past? I don't I know if not. Subaru said this himself in like an internal dialogue or not, but it's like he he's questioning if she herself wants to like confront her past and move on from it. While Subaru he did confront his past, and it was like yeah okay, I'll acknowledge it, and then he moved on from it, so. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, I feel like my prediction is Subaru's gonna end up like going through the trials anyways. But that's just that's like generic prediction, so Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he will or not. I can't I don't really have a strong feeling about it one way or the other. Or like a strong prediction one way or the other. But um Yeah, I mean the episode the episode was good. It it sounds kind of messed up, but I was excited to have it end, have an episode end bloody again. It's like one of the first ones in a while. Yeah, she wants that gore. She wants them guts to pop out. <laughs> I just kind of wanted wait something else to real quick. To who's that lady at the end again? Was she from like episode one? Yeah. So, yeah. so me Taylor believes that she was the first villain that Saru had to fight against. Um, mm-hmm. But we can't remember if she got captured or if she was dead or whatever. But she I got away. Think- yeah, she got away, yeah. and then she's back for revenge this time, I guess. That's fucked. I only yeah. know that because, you know, I only watched the first season. Does that does that mean you watched this episode then? Nope. I did not. I was watching superheroes while Taylor was watching it. <laughs> just, oh, just trash. Um, but yeah, so, like, with this episode, too, it, there's, there's a lot of story uh, being told here. Uh, apparently, Roswell... Um, kind of let everything that happened to Subaru happened because he believed that Subaru was able to take care of everything. Um, you've come to realize that Amelia's past is too much for the handle. So I think it was Echidna that said that uh, that, that question Subaru, like, are you sure that Amelia wants to face her past? And it, Subaru was super sure of it, but I think that's just his bias just getting the best of his um, his thought process. So uh, he's just not seeing straight. And uh, kind of like how you mentioned, I thought that Subaru was going to come back and solve everything for Amelia too. But thinking about it, since like Subaru died at the mansion, I think that's going to be stuck in his head the whole time. So he's going to be hell bent on getting to the mansion and saving uh, Frederica, uh, Petra, and Rem before right. yeah. yeah something crazy happens to them. Um, but I'm just really curious as to where they're going to end this. Like, is it is he going to be respawn after he passes the trial after Amelia wakes up, or you know, like? Um, yeah, after he met with Roswell, and Roswell told him, because there, there's so many different points where if he respawns at a point of time and he doesn't say meet up with Roswell, or he doesn't solve the trial, uh, like like the story could go in a completely different direction. So uh, it'll be pretty interesting where they bring him back. So uh, quick question um, for the res- for like the respawn points, um, uh-huh. have they been like when he's like when he was sleeping or when he was knocked out and woke up? Like are those like the 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 checkpoints or has it been just random like in the middle of a random day it seems to me like when he makes a major decision um is where he responds back to isn't it Uh, i feel like it's really random i I can't really tell yeah i'm pretty sure it's at it's it's really random Hmm. it's really hard to say when and where it's gonna get reset like literally first episode was i expecting him to like I mean, I kind of did right before, like, they came, they went back, but I don't know. 
the response in this game uh, show are really weird. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, Sasha. There yeah. is also this stuff going on with Puck too. I can't. I just. I just blasted through all the episodes today, so I can't remember which episode it is. But it's been like a recurring theme of Amelia trying to talk to Puck or summon Puck or what have you, mm -hmm. and he's been missing. Yep. Is, does anybody have any thoughts about that, or was that something? If any, I don't. Brian, I don't know if you watched the OVA, but is that linked to something in the OVA, or do we know what's going on with that? I never watched the OVA. <laughs> Damn it, David, we need you. I'm so, gonna come back next week, having watched the OVA. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll I'll think about it, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't know. It feels like he's pulling a Roswell on us, right? Like he knows something big is gonna go down. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why he came up to Super and said, "Hey, I'm gonna need you to protect Amelia." And then, like, he just like phases out. Um, it, it feels like they're just planning things out and leaving it to Subaru, and then just hoping that he pulls through, which is really weird because I don't see mm -hmm. what merit Subaru has shown to make you think he was capable of that. Um, I, I mean, that people would know about at the very least, right? You know, like of course he's he's done all these things and he's managed to pass, but that's because he's died multiple times trying to succeed. But mm -hmm. I, I still don't see why they're just leaving it all out to Subaru. So, see, I think that like at some point here, Amelia is going to have to be the one to at least overcome this trial because Frederica, when they were leaving, was saying that um, that Amelia would have to overcome or endure everything that was going to happen there. I'm pretty sure she said Amelia specifically. Right. So I don't know if that was like foreshadowing or not. It's really hard to tell exactly where it's going to go from right here. Yeah, I mean, it can go either way at this at this point. I think we would need another episode just to kind of figure out which direction they're going in. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly because I, I feel like they're just going to... I feel like they're just going to ditch the whole trial thing and just let Amelia do her thing. And then there's a new case or there's a new arc open that Subaru has to fix now or solve. So, um, I don't know. I feel like they're just done with the trials arc. Yeah, I could see that. Um, Anybody have any other thoughts on the episode? It was kind of like one of those continuer episodes. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. I'm... Nothing? I'll just see you next episode. All right. Okay. All right, so, that's all we got. All right. So that was a quick one. Um, so let's just start. Let's just start talking about Sword Art next. Sword Art Online. I uh, did not watch this one. What? Is it as shit as I remember? Um, well... It wasn't good. Is Asuna um, still worthless? Yes. Yes. They definitely yes. Like, show Kirito it. Is Kirito back yet? No. No. All right. Predictions. <laughs> got got him, dude. It's I, honestly, dude. You would not be able to predict this episode. Like, they showed characters that I don't think you'd ever even would would have even thought that were gonna show up. It was honestly, I had to like stop and think. I'm like, it, 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 never mind. Um, it's, okay. So, what, what other shows have you watched? Then we can we, we'll talk about those first. What I oh, only about now, get out the way. I, I only you already started, dude. You might as well finish. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so all right, we will talk about Sword Art then. Um, cool, go for it. Yeah, so this episode is, um, I mean, I, I guess it was bad because there was a lot of plot armor. Uh, <laughs> yes, given in, but dude, uh, the thing that kind of like got me <laughs> kind of messed up was uh, when Leafo was fighting, and then apparently she has the ability to never die, like she's immortal. But she still feels all the pain. So she just needs to have like a strong mental fortitude. Uh but dude, like legit, she she wiped out a like a bunch of guys. Uh I'm trying to remember. Yeah, she wiped out a bunch of guys. And then she was talking about how like she needs to hold out because like Kirito is a lot stronger than this. And then like one second later, there was a spear just like it was chucked at her eye, and like her whole like left eye or face was just just like it was just gone. It was just a spear that's just stuck in your eye, and she just yanked it out, and then all this blood just spurted out, and then she just recovered. I was like, "Holy shit, dude! That that was pretty fucked up." But I thought that was like the best part of the whole uh, this episode, dude. Leafa's character, like her her like uh, account, is just it's gotta be like one of the strongest ones. I mean, the, like to never die can be can definitely backfire, especially when you're facing like, just a like, gigantic army like they are. Uh, but she's definitely being, like, you know, manning up way more than Asuna. Asuna's just basically just, like, just, she's just doing nothing. It's just, I don't know. It's yeah, so I mean, she, she had her time to shine when she first popped in and created that giant chasm to, 
uh, to kill all those other guys. Which is awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah. But that's about it. Like, everywhere else, uh, she's been kind of useless. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then Sidon, I mean, I guess she shined once when she popped in as well and did her meteor shot or whatever the heck she called it. Um, but I don't know, dude. So, you know, I'm calling BS on her, too. Like, she, she should have died again, uh, but the last bullet that um, the, the villain shot, it, the, poison, it hit her. the poison condom, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I feel like there's maybe, there's, there's got to be something we're missing, right? Like, there's got to be a reason as to why she has that pendant. Dude, well, that pendant, though, is basically like, I, I swear that they showed the shot of it, and it was just like that thing that when Kirito got hit, that he, where he was poisoned. I swear that was what it was, and then I thought then Kirito just made it. Made it like to a pendant, but I don't know how it became an item in the game. Why would you, why would you make that a pendant and give it to like your friend? I don't so know. Weird. You know? Uh, it doesn't yeah. make any sense, so I, I have no idea. But but let's go back to the beginning of the episode when they first kind of showed that random character that kind of flew in. I had no yeah. idea. I first first I had a first stop, I was like, who the hell is this guy? And then I didn't. Then then when the other character dropped down, then I was just like, "Oh, what the fuck!" I was like, "I'm pretty sure these are two filler characters." Like, like no, they, they're from the movie Ordinal Scale. Yeah, but isn't that filler? Or is that actually? Is or is that no. actually? It's, it's canon now. <laughs> oh my god! Because when they dropped, I thought like, "Wait!" I was like, "I'm pretty sure these are filler characters." And then they yeah. kind of did like the whole thing where like really nothing ended up happening because the the because at first you know the army that the, the dumb thing is like he has just the darkness power now that just like takes over people's accounts, which is just stupid, and just yeah. you know takes over everybody. And then you have like the the idol girl that drops down and like kind of recovers all of them. And she's like, "Oh, what the hell?" So what we're, what we're, what we're doing is wrong. And then the, of course, and the two people that kind of like knew that something was up at the beginning like aren't affected by the aren't affected by the darkness, but everybody else is because you know that makes sense. And then and then of course, and then then they get then that one guy gets basically just knocked out, and then he's saying something. Oh, like did I do well? And then it just disappeared, and then everything else, and then everything just became exactly what it was before. I was like, wait, what was the fucking point of this entire thing? Because no, everything the point is. Was, there's proof now that he's a bad guy. Yeah, but but they don't know though because they're all taken over by the darkness anyway, which was originally happening before they showed up. No, no, you they know? they know now because they everyone recognizes the laughing coffin, so like everyone knows that he's a bad guy. Uh, yeah, I suppose. And then that's why that's why he released his power. Like, you know what? Fuck it. If I can't convince you guys, I'm just gonna take over your mind. And then. You get the BS power that comes out and just takes over people's minds. So stupid, yeah. Yeah, it's so, pretty bad. Okay, yeah. So that makes sense, um, I guess. And then, or for uh, for sort of online um, standards at least. So th- that that whole situation, I just thought was really weird. I mean, it was kind of like first shocking. I was like, wait, what the hell? Like, because the whole thing, I thought they were still uh, they were filler, but uh, I guess now they're considered canon. Unless this is an episode that was partially filler, just basically, <laughs> no. just basically no. leading up to Kirito's awakening. No, uh, nope. They're they're canon. They're they're real. Um, Ordinal scale happened yeah. somehow. Yeah, but um, so yeah. So far though, like of all the knights, like I think Leafa's definitely been my favorite. Like she's just been a beast. Um, like way more than everybody else. Uh, where she's I mean, been. Is this why they had they had to make her the victim of that rape scene? I mean, I don't know. The more I, uh, the more I, I think about it, it's she's such a badass character, and I don't know why they would do that to her. Uh, it's just. You know, hey, that's that's sword art writing for you. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's basically starting up the season with the most sword art way possible. It's uh, but no, just like the whole Leafa thing was just was awesome. Uh, and then, like she not had like a moment, even though she does not have regenerative abilities, so she currently does not have legs, um, or half of them at least. And then yeah, like I, I thought that would be like all OP characters, but I I get the feeling that they're not like each character because they're they're considered like a goddess, right? So they're a goddess of a certain ability. Like Asuna is able to create chasms or change the earth. Uh, but she's Lifa able to heal has, too. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But like she has power of the earth, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you know, like uh, Leafa can't die. Sidon can fly. Um, you know, maybe these aren't really as OP as we thought they were, which is kind of bullshit. Well, I think a big part of it too is because like the was it the creep scaling is just stupid. Like because both these people don't even have. Like accounts from the original, you know, from the original game, they're outside accounts from like one that was actually from like, the original series that sh- did, that did not like. I'm pretty sure that uh, Einkrad did not have magic. I think that was like part of it that you know, there was like no such thing as magic. And, yeah. Um, 
So, which is yeah. stupid because they have like these darkness abilities. And that other guy's account is basically one that's from Gungale, which all you yep. do is shoot guns. I don't think there's any magic in there either. Yet they have, they both have these darkness abilities, which is just the most. It's just, just dumb. It's just dumb shit. And then, um, yeah. and then also, and then you basically like when it was um, when Shino was uh, regenerating bullets just by believing, and then you were able to just like change the gun, and then and somehow it, like they just keep bringing shit back from Minecraft, like basically making it sound like it's like part of this game. When it's its own solo thing in a government, like in a government like complex in the middle of the ocean, and where it's it shouldn't be connected to any of these, but yet somehow it's connecting, and it's well, uh, judging from what happened at the very beginning, like you know how the the preview for last week's episode had mm-hmm. the uh, old uh, Minecraft servers like reboot. Yep. Um, maybe that's that's what's happening. It's it's slowly starting to seep into uh, the Allison underworld. Well, uh, unless so, are the old Einkrans? Are they actually maybe on like the sea turtle, whatever it's called? I don't, I don't know. Okay, it, from the looks of it, so, it's actually it might be because uh, if if you remember the the map that was being shown, I think it was a picture like a map of Japan, and then like to the bottom right of it is where the the square popped up saying that there's this server or whatever that's popping up. Oh, uh, so maybe yeah, maybe it's around the turtle or somewhere out in the ocean. I mean. It would make more sense than what's currently happening. So for <laughs> for creator and writing purposes, I hope that's the case. Right. Uh, right. Also, was it the that one side the one villain side character dude that was he, he basically you know rip him? Uh, wrench was too strong. Dude, it's it's okay because just just as fast as how he was introduced, he just got yeeted out. <laughs> so <laughs> I, think like, I think it's fine. Oh yeah. When I when I saw it, I was like, yeah, it's okay. It's fine. It makes sense. Um, and then, but then, like, you know, of course, and that allowed him to actually have like the was the, to connect the power of friendship. And I think next episode, I think next episode is gonna be like a whole thing like in Kirito's head. And then at the end of the episode, it's gonna be Kir- Kirito awakening. I'm, I think that's basically yeah. what it's gonna be. Um, yeah, it sounds like it sounds like Yuji is gonna wake him up, and then the next episode after that is when he's gonna wake up. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna end the episode with Kirito like awake and basically, you know, kind of badass. And his, I assume he's gonna be like in his Ironcrad form, and it's just gonna start off from there. I mean, I don't know. I think it's going to be stupid, but it's going to be I'm stupid. Kinda, but I'm actually excited. <laughs> yeah, like, like what's this guy got? You know, what does yep. Jesus got? Because yep. basically, that's that's what they're hyping him up to be. It's oh yeah, oh because yeah. I mean, it's like at this point, like it's just like I, I can't take Sword Art Online serious, but I'm I'm still yeah. like in, I'm back to enjoying it now after getting really enraged. I think it was like two episodes ago. I can't remember what it was, but I was like, holy Eight? shit! Where and then now. You- yeah, dude. Well, the animation helps with that. Like, definitely, the animation is—it's is, too good for what it well, for what the show is. Uh, yeah, I mean, a, dude, the yeah. fighting scenes, like even with the with the Eiji, like when he first like got it when he first flew in there, like that whole like that whole like uh, kind of like, just scene that I thought looked really sick. Um, also, like Leafa's just abilities, where she just they had like this just a giant sword extension that just annihilated wow. like a, like what multiple armies. Yeah, and uh, like that whole thing, even like her like the stomp and like the regeneration ability looks so sick too. Um, I don't know. Like, like definitely, like uh, Leafa's character is. Uh, uh, she's she's definitely been like one of like the, the best ones. Asuna's def- like she had like the intro, and then she's been awful since. Like it's just like right. she's just like what she used to be in like the first season, and what they be like what they made her become is just it's depressing. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. So I don't know, but but I have but that's that. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I have really anything else. I'm actually excited for next episode. Uh, all I gotta say is uh, rip to the scientist guy because apparently he himself mentioned it, but uh, he just set up his own death flag, so I think he's gonna be dead. Uh, which scientist? Uh, the one that was sent to reconnect Kirito's memories with like the others. Oh, honestly, I think he's fine. I think because there's nothing left for it, like it's basically he connected Kirito, and there's yeah. nothing left to really do. Like, there's no reason to go after him. Like, what's done is done. You know? No, but this thing, he's he's lost his purpose. There's no reason for him to be alive. Mm-hmm. And even when he was when he pressed enter the to start up the sequence, like he was even mentioning, Oh man, like starting to fade out, I gotta focus, blah blah blah. Um Oh so yeah. I suppose yeah. I think he's gonna be dead. Yeah, if I tell guys if if he dies, he dies. I mean he's this he's the he's the fool that like didn't put passwords on other god accounts on the other side. <laughs> Apparently it's just like, you know, just free roll just just letting you know god accounts you know roll for free, I guess. And uh, yeah. I don't know. He honestly terrible IT guy. I would not want him. 
That's rough. He's already dead, man. Just leave yeah, him alone, too. That's yet, but he's getting there. I almost yeah. skipped the conversation with him, with him and that, that, that random girl. Because it was just so pointless. I'm like, and it seemed like it was just going on forever. And I was like, about to hit the skip button, but then it ended. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was just, it was so, it was just random, unnecessary. I mean, she threw the wrench down. So I guess, it, and then she, you know, she, she just did what she needed to do. Did I she mean, honestly, I thought, Yeah, yeah, she left. She went back. But I honestly thought that there was going to be a different way that she was going to save him. Like, Throwing a, a wrench at someone and having them fall off because they got scared was it's kind of stupid. But oh yeah, definitely. If it does a job, I guess that's fine. That's the right thing to do. Yeah. Um, I'm just curious how she got to him and then how she's able to get back without getting shot by the uh, the terrorists that are already on the the ship. Hey man, the, AI, the AI robots too strong apparently. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, makes dude. What are you talking about, man? Sort of logic. It makes sense. Like I said, I, I love the show because it's bad, but it's good bad. You yeah, know? Like, I know. Yeah, I know. But it <laughs> know. still sometimes I get headaches too. Okay, All right. Yeah, I like how she just leaves after like basically it's like oh like you know you got the whole thing thing like you know whole thing going. It's like you're okay. Uh-huh. It's like yeah I'm okay. All right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> yeah, you good fam? You, you got it. All right, I'm, I'm yeah. going back. This guy got shot. <laughs> He's bleeding and everything, and doesn't see this. But yeah, whatever. You're fine. That's Shake it off. Oh, I mean, Leaf is just taking you know uh, spear after spear, and still surviving. Somehow, Ag- with Agile uh, and uh, Agil, whatever his name is, and also the other guy, they they have just oh, have multiple God. spears in them, and they're still alive. Yeah, dude. I thought he was gonna get like wiped <laughs> out, but dude, they're taking that like a champ. Them. I mean, I guess to be fair, they are tank characters, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that is so, true. Yeah, they're technically I, I, feeling pain too. Um, yeah. So I mean, it's fine, I guess. That one guy that's like a samurai, he reminds me of like the samurai from Final Fantasy XI. You know, they, they basically became like a tank class. Yeah, like, there's, oh. there's like samurais. Yeah, there's like samurais in Final Fantasy XI that were yeah. that people were actually using as tank classes. Doesn't make any sense, oh. but you know, I actually, well, whatever. Anyway, no, makes yeah. sense. But okay, that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got too. Um. Okay. Well, that was our uh, sword art from this week. Wasn't nearly as shitting on it, so that was that's always a positive. Mm-hmm. But okay, uh, we will move on next to Snafu, or uh, you you know, my teen romantic comedy. Man, this man should just went for the teacher, bro. <laughs> no. Why did you, dude? Oh my god! Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Dude, when, when she was like, when she was like, take me, take me, take me. I was like, oh yes, I will. <laughs> oh, my god. oh, best waifu right there, dude. Oh my god. So real quick, I'm not gonna lie. Since I wasn't, I didn't watch the episode last week. Um, my heart just sank, dude. I felt so bad for her. For who? You're a hard. For Yui. Oh, Yui. For Yui. Yeah. Dude, if you oh, watch, no. I would still watch last week. We last week's if you want like the full hit for it. It, dude, it was it was tough. Dude, I watched last week and I like I watched I watched last week's episode. Oh, you and did. This okay. Man, this man said that shit in front of her. I was like, dude, really? You couldn't like walk across the corner or something and say it. Yeah, I was like, man. Yep, the feels, dude. The show. <laughs> feels. <laughs> Wait, what did he say that he shouldn't have said in front of her? He was like, I, I want to save her, but that was like oh. the triggering point for her, and then she just like, oh, she played it off like a champ, though. I know. Until he left. <laughs> no, she almost slipped. She almost no, got caught slipping. But but she but she even said the last week she's basically was like, oh no, she was actually glad that she didn't actually slip it up because she knew exactly what Hachiman was gonna do, and the whole thing could have changed. Because, you know, right. it could be a story with, you know, him and Yui instead of him and, and uh, Yukino, you know? All I'm saying is, regardless of who wins, Yui's best girl. Because she, like, legit Damn. sacrificed her own fucking love interest for the betterment of other people. I'm like, all right. You'll That's take, tough, you'll take it for this show, okay? Uh, yeah. Nah. Nah. Jeez, are, nah are, just, are you still team Yukino? Whatever. Whatever. Hell I'm yeah. Over oh, it. my God. I'm <laughs> over it. I'm over oh, it. Y'all can start God. this episode. All I care about this episode is he should have went for the teacher. Agreed. That's it. So cool. If, if the teacher literally went for anybody else besides Yukino, I would be happy. <laughs> anybody. So, so cool. Let, let's say if, if there was actually an option for the teacher in this show, would you would you choose yeah, that yeah. over Yukino? Yeah. Okay. All right. Just checking. Okay. okay. Dude, I, I was I was totally about that from season one, uh-huh. but uh, unfortunately, she's not a uh, <clears throat> possible candidate. I hey. think. Give it a couple years, and then you know that that can always be thrown in the pool, you know. If, if, this, this, was game, if this was a game, there would be a route for it for sure. Oh, dude, <laughs> I, I I know there's a there is actually a snafu game out. 
I, I actually out. wonder what the routes are. I mean, it's not it's not in English though, sadly. Yeah, it's so, Japanese only. Dude, if it was if it was English, I think I would at least play it. I don't know about Ku. Um, I, want, Ooh, yeah, I would I would avoid Yukino's route and just go everybody else's route, <laughs> but <laughs> just to basically see it. But I'd probably definitely go Iroha's route first though because I still think she's like she's she's really high up there on the characters. Like for it for me, it's like it's like Iroha Yui. Um, the teacher, Saki, and then Yukino at this point. <laughs> like, out, out of all the three main girls, I guess you can say, I hate Iroha the most just because... Oh my god, why? She's so, how? She's so annoying. Oh she's my so... god. Dude, but her personality has <laughs> gotten better, though. Like, it's basically, like, honestly, like, Hachiman just, like, deflects it. Like, he just knows that's what she, like, how she is. And he's just yeah. not even phased by it anymore. I, I mean... The bullshit just rolls off of him so well. It's so good. <laughs> Right. I mean, do you really want a girl that's constantly bullshitting with you? Mm. See, that's only that's only because like they're not in like like she would definitely change if they were actually in a typical relationship because yeah. she wouldn't be that like that's like that sense. But she's just no. like the she's like the trickster slash fox slash play playful type type of thing, I guess. Like, yeah. Fox? What does that mean? You know, fox, you know, sly. I don't know. You know how she, oh, but, yeah. did you ever you did you ever watch the OVA with uh? Yeah. You did. Okay. Where basically she was kind of like playing around with with Hachiman most of the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, we missed his birth. His birthday was yesterday. Who? Hachiman? Hachiman, yeah. Eight, eight. Oh. <laughs> For Hachi. So how is, every, how is everybody feeling about Haru? Uh, that's her name, right? Yukino's sister? Haruno, I think. I don't care about her. Yeah. She's it's just so like, stuck up. Yeah, it's, it's another character. Like, why are you here? You're out of high school. Get the fuck out. And it's... All right, all right, 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 let's put that up again. Real, quick question. <laughs> what the fuck is this, like, PTO, like assembly who are these people it's the parent teacher organization yeah. oh my god they need to fuck <laughs> off exactly I mean, to be, to thank you though, the oh my god is real here too like we also have a pto but is it real like, like guys. but is it actually that but is it actually that intense though i mean where it's just yeah. like it can be yeah, yeah. it definitely oh, can god. be god it just seems so dumb. I don't know. The I just is, let these the kids have is, fun you know yeah. they want to do drugs let them do drugs i don't know they want to drink let them drink you know, <laughs> let them live their lives for a few years before college. Uh, and, you know, they want to be because you see, right, Liz, if you let them party hard with some sort of like supervision, let's say in high school, right? It's not going to be as bad in college unless they're stupid. That's that's a lot of well, this. Brent, okay, that's Brian, do you remember? Ever, do you remember having to go to that thing where it's basically it's like, oh, when you go to prom, you know, make sure you don't drink and drive and stuff like this, and they have a have like a I whole didn't scenario. Go to prom? Sorry, I wasn't I, popular. I didn't either, but it was still a thing I had to go to. I didn't go to that <laughs> shit, though. Oh my god, Koo, tell me you at least went to prom. Uh, I was asked, but no, I didn't go to prom. <laughs> what? <laughs> at least you got asked. <laughs> so, True. <laughs> was, Wait, was, you so got real. asked? Holy chats, that is. <laughs> you were so scary back in the day, threatening me to do the asking. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's not fair for me, though, because um, in my school, it was really small. It was mostly white people. And then I was one out of two Asian guys. The other they Asian guy... They saw you as exotic, right? Right. <laughs> what a man. So Poor the other guy, was really, the other guy was really quiet, and he was, like, <laughs> very... Like, he wasn't really talkative. And I was the outgoing guy, so everyone was, like, asking me. But What a man. You were, they were trying to get that yellow fever in fast, dude. Bro, you had no idea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but no i just wasn't interested in that thing because the at the time the girl that i was talking to went to a different school and she was also a she was two years younger than me so i'm just i was just more focused on that i didn't really care much about the prom okay what a guy but, ladies <laughs> out there we digress <laughs> yeah um did you go to prom? huh did you go to prom i went to prom all four years Excuse four years me? Is it only for like Holy senior or something? Status? What the <laughs> fuck? Yo! No. No, I wasn't popular. You sure it was prom? You got like asked all dance? four years to go all prom. That's meant for like, what, juniors and seniors? Yeah. I went to ho- I went to homecoming freshman and sophomore year, and I went to prom freshman through senior year. Wait, how the fuck? What the yeah. fuck? Ooh, I, thought, I thought I was good. Holy shit. Taylor's <laughs> it- it wasn't, I mean, it was, it was a lot of times it was friends stuff though. At least 50% of the time it was like friends. You know what I mean? I, we don't know because we didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're all losers. We uh, didn't go. Well, but, but anyways. Yeah. Anyways, um, with the, 
with the parental board, like, it's still just, like, I, I really don't know why, like, they're really focused on, like, going in. Because they're, they're worried about, like, their image. But at the same time, it's, like, high school. Nobody gives a shit about you. But in their own conceited mind, they think that people care, like, what their kids are doing. And how it makes it, like, kind of, like, I don't know. I really don't know. I remember, like, you, Coom, and David talking about, la- talking about it last week. But I still can't, like, I, I, I still can't agree with it. Because I just still, I still think it's just so dumb. It's, it's well, I just... The thing that I find dumb about it, like, I, I have seen PTO members be really stupid over a lot of stuff, so I can accept that. The thing that I don't like about this specifically is that it really feels like, like, it mentioned in one of these episodes that there were multiple voices out there that were, you know, voicing concern over this. You know, there's, like, like, two. Well, it really just seems like it's just Yukino's mom who's doing this, like, as a challenge to her. She doesn't even give a shit what's actually happening. Yeah, they even mentioned She's literally doing it just to challenge her. And, like, even, I, I'm tr- hopefully this isn't too spoilery, I have not finished the light novel series, but, like, as far as I've read, which is pretty far, there's nobody else that shows up. Like, we have a problem with this. So, like, it's it just seems, like, useless, stupid, overblown drama just to achieve a certain end or to, like, build up Yukino's character, I guess. Well, but... they, they even... Oh yeah, they, they even mentioned it, though, at a point where they basically said, like, like, the majority of, like, parents signed off for it. Like, they're okay with it. Yeah. And they even mentioned it. The school's so you, okay with it. Everybody's okay with it. Yeah. So, you know, it's just basically just a couple... Her mom... And I don't even know about her sister at this point. Like, she's just such a, like, a wild card. I can't really understand, like, what the hell she's doing. So, or... like, her sister, from what I understand, is that she supports Yukino. Like, she doesn't want to make Yukino's life harder. But the thing is, she's kind of, she's basically, like, a jaded adult, is basically what her sister is. She wanted things, and she didn't get all those things. And she's, like, going through her own mental gymnastics to accept them. And she's, like feeling Yukino out and she really is like okay with Yukino doing whatever Yukino wants to do with the but she believes that all of it is still going to not necessarily work out the way that she wants it to um like that life will get in the way and get like you know like we all wanted to do things growing up but most of us didn't get to do our number one two or three things she thinks that Yukino just has to figure that out for herself yep at least that's my understanding so I don't think she's a wild card she's just not encouraging everything yeah uh, i feel like she's kind of just following her mom too like she has no no choice like she is the one that's going to take over the family once yeah they get older or whatever so she's just following along just because her mom's there otherwise i don't think she would show up or cause any problems yeah it's, but the main focus yeah. is you have to talk about is you can know his mom right if you can think of like the worst karen you can think of today her that that's her <laughs> you know and it, no. now she's got a I mean, I don't know what I don't know if a worse term to put it, but that's that's what you think. She is the one person who who's making all this happen. So if you can think of a worse word than Karen with power, then <laughs> it. yeah, it's, I don't know. I, I still think overall this 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 arc is just weak. I think this is just really weak. Like trying to have you like win over you, you know Yukino, because I think Yukino made more of an impact in the previous seasons, just because like they didn't focus on anybody else. Iroha wasn't even a thing until the second season. But I think though there's just been so much more with Yui and Iroha since then that I think uh-huh. they're, they've been just kind of catching it, like catching up, well actually surpassing Yukino for me because I used to actually really like Yukino as well. But just kind of like knowing more and more about her kind of issues and her problems, like I just can't sympathize as much as like with Yui and I don't even know Iroha's backstory really, but I would like to know it more. Uh huh. Um, I, I still think like it would it would be really interesting to just see and then um, what what's about her, even though she's still like my like my number one in this show. But, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 just, I still think the second season was a lot better with, like, arc-wise and, like, character development, especially for Hachiman. I think that was, like, def- that was definitely him. And I know this is supposed to be Yukino, but I just can't... I don't know. I just... I feel like uh, you're just biased right now because your girls got shot down. <laughs> mine? I know. No, this is before, though. They even got, they even got shot down. Because I, I liked your Iroha in the previous season. Well, actually, the, the OVA is what kind of, like, won me over. Um, right. and then Yui, honestly, I didn't even like, like, going in, like, at the end of the second season, I actually had her, like, ranked third in my Last. list. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had her ranked third. And then now, though, she's, like, my second. Just because, like, there's been so much Yui airtime, and I feel, and I, every time, I feel so bad for her. And I'm just, and I just keep thinking, like, she's done so much more than what Yukino's done. Like, it, it, just in a sense for Hachiman as well. Because, like, the, how they meant, like, how they mentioned, like, the co- codependency or whatever it is where it's basically Hachiman doing everything but Yukino's not doing a damn thing that's one of those deals um 
I don't know. I still just like Iroha and Yui's just personality and everything about them, like, way more. I just find them more interesting characters. Mm. So, I don't know. I mean, honestly, like, like, I, go ahead. I can't understand, like, the the troubles that Yukino is going through. It's like, she wants to be independent enough to where she doesn't always have to rely on Hachiman. But, man, she just never put in the effort, you know? There's just something that they clicked. I Whoa. guess I guess I would, it makes sense that they clicked. <laughs> she, I don't know, man. It's just weird. I just, I guess it's more noticeable to see Yui put in that effort just because she's so, like, you know, expressive. But that's just how it is, I guess. I mean, if I had to put down reasons as to why I like Yuki no better than all the other girls, I mean, it would be its own episode, but... <laughs> I don't know. Yui is that's the thing. Like Yui seems fake. You know, she's not. Uh, I mean, of course, she's she's pure hearted, whatever. She only wants like what's best for everyone. But she's very indecisive. She can't make up her own decisions, and then she's putting up these fronts just to keep her like this relationship going, even though it's fake, right? Um, that's why she's willing to put it aside and let you can go through. I think now the... they are though. Like originally they were not, but then it became that. I mean, even still, like from, from the get go, she. She knew that Hachiman was the one that uh, like saved her dog, and then she never went to go visit him in the hospital. And then apparently she knew it was Hachiman, but then she just never got a hold of him until the second year. And then even now, she wants to do all these things, but uh, because of her so-called friendship with Yukino and Hachiman, she doesn't want it to change or get ruined. So she's just like faking what she really wants just so everything stays the same. Ha- Hachiman still doesn't know that he saved her dog, does he? I don't, uh, think, no, I don't no, think he does. He does, because really? Yeah, because in season one, they, they came across that, and then he was like, uh, you know, when we, he thought that, that Yui was a nice girl, and she was a genuinely nice girl, but then when they realized that Yui was the one that uh, that had the dog that needed to be safe, and that Yukino was the one that ran him over, uh, he realized that, oh yeah, the only reason why she's being nice to me was because I saved her dog, so oh. it's not it's not genuine, you know? Oh, So but... that was like back in season one. But it became genuine, though. Yeah. Yeah, but later on, but, but it wasn't yeah. right away, right? But but again, it's it's one of those things where it's not completely genuine. Like everything that she does is not completely genuine. Like she's slowly starting to to get rid of that facade that she has. But yeah. even then, it's a little a little too I late. I think for quite some time she's been pretty genuine. I mean, whatever whatever she's showing that isn't genuine isn't like coming from a bad place. It's coming from a place where she just doesn't feel like she can. Right. Because of everything that's going on between Hachi and and Yukino, so right. I mean, I would actually say that I find her behavior more realistic than Yukino. I mean, Yukino, I don't even really know why she actually does, or more often than not, does nothing that well, she does. Like she just she just doesn't like she keeps saying she wants to follow her own path, but even like what even is it? I mean, but, she just seems to have no interests, no real personality, no just there's just like nothing to her. Like, like it's like she almost doesn't have any thoughts going through her head for me. Whereas like Yui, we we just see so much going through her head, and I actually find her much more realistic. And like she's a teenager, so all of her behavior really makes sense because of that. Well, the one thing that I got kind of really annoyed by like, with the whole Yukino thing with this season is because <clears throat> the second season is when Yui and Yukino are both kind of going hard on Hachiman, basically saying like you know hey, don't do things on your own. Like actually like incorporate us. Basically like you know we're a team. And then now is like Yukino is just trying to basically do things solo, which is just like I mean, I guess it, it makes sense, but it's just like like uh, I mean, it's like why like you've been you guys have basically kind of like been a team like this whole time, like why have like independency now? But I guess in a sense it it makes sense just because like she's been having like her own facade where she makes it seem like she's like this really strong independent independent girl when really she hasn't been when she's it's basically just been like a fake facade. So that in a way, they have their own kind of like situations going on. That makes it so like neither one of them are really genuine. So I think that's when like that whole Hachiman breakdown in the second season, where he just like basically wanted something that was real, or like you actually wanted like either, either even if it just made it like friendship connections or relationship connections. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's like kind of like was like I don't know. I still think by, by by far the second season was my favorite. I just think like a lot of things were just I, I don't know. I just enjoyed it a lot more. I mean, even though it was like it was definitely a lot more dramatic, but like just like kind of like the story development, like character development, everything was just so good. Um, and it was just definitely like uh, Hachiman was kind of breaking, breaking out with a lot of things, and also when he bro- broke down, I broke down with him. Mm. But anyway, that's the second season. Um, 
but the third season, or sorry, this last episode that it kind of ended with Iroha, where it de- definitely kind of like kind of broke out where it, a little bit where it showed like you know she had feelings still for him as well, and uh, still she's always had feelings yeah. for him. And then she, got, she just felt like a little bit more defeated again. And it <laughs> Dude, just she's felt... fake as fuck too. She's more like, like she's, you know, what? she's fake as hell too. Oh my she's god, she's not fake. She's the most obvious. <laughs> she is really nah, obvious. Just... She's one of them girls that just teases you. You know that, that's all it is. She just <laughs> loves to tease anybody you. that's ever interacted with a human knows like what's going on with you, Oha, and she like plays into it. That's what makes her so great. <laughs> no, just just horrible. Just, <laughs> God, not wasting my time. I'm so oh, I'm sorry. You can't confess to me. I like I I felt my my heart tremble a little bit, but you know like I can't <laughs> I can't accept your feelings. I'm sorry, and then she bows. Like she does that so many times. It's, it's it's getting kind of boring. But I like, love it. Kind of I love it that every is time. Actually, I would agree with that, Koo. I do think that, right? that has never been overdone. Never. I love it every time it happens. I still like. I still laugh, but like on the inside, I'm like, okay, you're all high. I believe in yeah. you. You can come up with a better joke. <laughs> right. Like like the first couple of times, I was like, okay, you know, that's pretty funny, or that's kind of cute, right? But then she keeps doing it, and then she makes it more and more longer as to why she can't accept these feelings. <laughs> and it's kind of like whatever. And then like you know, you know, of course, like all these girls, you know, they they all have their genuine moments with uh, with Hachiman. But uh, again, it's it's one of those things where it's I I can't. I can't see this person and take them seriously as to, um, you know, they, they really love this person, not, not like, but they really love this person and they're willing to take that, that next step to risk it and then be in a relationship with them, you know? Dude, I like it. <laughs> I mean, can you blame her? She knows she doesn't stand an absolute chance. Why would she even bother? Yeah, that was like the big part of the OVA because she, reali- she recognized and realized that she just doesn't even like, ex- basically, she in, in a sense with like Yui and Yukino, she doesn't even exist. Because she's like, just that far back. Um, with the whole thing, and this was just kind of like a more of like a realization and kind of like another kind of bump, I would assume, to the people who didn't watch the OVA. To just like where how she kind of recognizes it, but then realizes like she has no chance or has, she has no shot. Which every time just makes it feel even worse. It wasn't as painful as Yui mm-hmm. though, because Yui definitely took it a lot harder than uh, than Iroha. Because I think Iroha from the beginning kind of recognized this, but then Yui kind of like, she's, you know, she's just kind of, you know, she's realizing it, you know, as time goes on. That she well, I think that. Sorry, go ahead. No, that was about it. Well, I was just gonna say I don't think that Iroha's feelings are as strong as Yui's. Oh, they're all. not. Definitely not. I mean, no. like, so I don't really feel bad for her. Honestly, I think she's kind of leaning into the whole like flirting for fun thing, mm-hmm. rather than really anything else. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. What a hoe. And so I, I, I really don't feel bad for her, and I think it's all in good fun. Uh, what did Chris say? That was Brian. <laughs> that was me. That was that Brian. Was me. <laughs> <laughs> Brian just said, "What a hoe." <laughs> But uh, my thoughts exactly though. <laughs> God, whatever. But if the teacher did this, it would be fine. Oh yeah, I'm all down for that. <laughs> oh my God. But that's really she's mature. Old she's older. She knows what she wants. Easy clap. You know, what if, so, so what if, oh, go ahead. J- Japanese guys, they are I don't you know, don't don't shoot me for this, but I'm just I'm just <laughs> throwing it out oh, there. Boy. But oh, Japanese gosh. guys just don't like dominant females you know so they can't take that that independent that woman that that strong personality that uh she's Ooh, i didn't know has. you were japanese <laughs> well i'm not but i'm asian so i can kind of throw it out there so it's, it's okay Ugh. um but i mean i think they, they actually mentioned that too in a lot of like uh like i don't know when when you talk about like the japanese and their culture it's it's kind of like a well known thing i think isn't it yeah. Yeah. What? So, like, like, yeah. I was going to say, like, what if they did, like, the spinoff? Like, let's just say they all become friends at the end, but then they say, like, a few years later, and they basically just saw Hachiman and, like, and the teacher in a relationship. Oh, dude. Best <laughs> scene ever. <laughs> oh. Dude, that, that would be, a, like, I'm still kind of waiting for something mind blowing. Like, it's just, like, like something, like, we don't actually see. Because I think, because at the beginning of, like, almost, like, was it the beginning of the show? Like, we just kind of assume that like, Hachiman and Yukino is going to get together. But what if this guy does some kind of like crazy spin, or like it just kind of, or just something nuts happens? What if he ends up with Saki? (laughs) Oh my god, that'd be so awesome! Like honestly, like honestly, I'm like I'm more excited for him to end up with anybody else or nobody than you know. It sounds terrible, but sounds kind of fucked up. But uh... yeah, I mean honestly, I'm still gonna be happy. I'm sure, like I'm sure through this season, I'm gonna probably like Yukino more. Even though I feel like if Hachiman and Yukino are doing their own separate thing. Then I feel like we're not going to see like too much of like their interaction back and forth. We're just going to see a lot of Hachiman, and maybe some of Yukino, because this definitely seems like this is going to be Hachiman's time. 
Uh, well, judging from how the episode ended with uh, Yukino crying, I, I still feel like they're going to interact with each other. And uh, I, I, f- I feel like they're going to come to the point where they are going to resolve the prompting, but that's going to cause them to break apart. Think so? For, I mean, like, from what... You, for what it feels like, it, it feels like Yukino's trying to do something to make sure that Hachiman is no longer part of her life or her, uh, like, to, to end her codependency on, on uh, Hachiman. I think she's planning to do something to to end it. That's why she was crying at the end. Well, that, though, if she wins, though, but actually, that makes sense. But if she wins, then in a sense, like, she was able to do it on her own. Right. You know? So it'll be like um, a bittersweet victory in a sense. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I'm still interested to see what that one thing is. You know, what the one per- thing is like. You know, somebody can ask them because already right. it's kind of leading. It's it's leading to I believe what Yukino like that Yukino is going to win. But it's just like you know what is that one thing that she's going to ask of him? You know, I, I don't think Hachiman's going to win. Um, I think it, there might be even like a like a, a sen- like a chance that he might let her win. Which I think would be, you know, the incorrect thing because she definitely seems like she would pick up on it uh, immediately. I mean, judging from how this show is going, I think, uh, yeah, you're right. It's going to be a thing where uh, Hachiman sets it up so that she does win, or she gets it, or the the results happen in a uh, favorable way for her to make her feel or believe that, you know, she's finally able to do something on her own. Like, she's a strong, independent woman. She's yeah. not codependent on Hachiman anymore. Stuff like that. So. Even though she's not. See, yeah. But so. the thing is, I, I, I think that the best like the best way to end the show is her winning. I, I don't... Because it's basically it's just like... Because you know, that would prove that she's able to do stuff on her own. But if she loses, mm. then it just shows like, you know, she's... It's been like, kind of like the same thing like the entire since the entire show. Like, she just can't do things on her own. Like, she has to... Like, it's basically she has to have help or something like that. Um, yeah, it would make season three pointless if, yeah. if she doesn't yeah, so, get this. Yep, unless if somehow they kind of just you know mingled, you know they kind of come together at some point for some reason somehow. Right, but it's, I don't know. But I don't know. That's I think that's pretty much all I got. It seems like every, it seems like every episode now we have so much to talk about for this show. Like this is easily becoming our longest one. Like, there's so much. There's so much shit that comes with this. That we have There's to kind of like so break through. Happening, but so much yeah, just it's happened. just so much more that's just happening. It's I don't know. That's <laughs> it's, the show it's, is it's so all good. Because, it's all because you guys can't decide on a best girl, which yeah. is clearly you can know, yeah. but <laughs> no one wants to admit it. But if the so. teacher was in the running, it would be the teacher. Oh yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but she's not. So we'll just throw that out there. See, okay. who I definitely feel like you're wrong on this. Like Threaten was all about you can know. All the way up through like end of season two, and even he switched over, which I never thought was possible. OVA, 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 OVA won me over. With, uh, how, how, am I, how am I wrong? What do you, what do you mean? Well, I, I guess you're just not in the majority, so we're closer to being right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically we're all for like we're all for like really somebody else except you know who's gonna be he's gonna be the only one to celebrate at the end because it just feels like it's gonna be you, you know. Yeah. Dude, it, it, it's gonna be cool, so be worthwhile. Happy. Dude, honestly, it's so worthwhile. I'd be it's I'd be okay. I'd be perfectly fine with them just being friends or something or somehow. Yep. No, no, fuck next. that shit. I don't want no, no half ass ending, <laughs> oh right? God. I want him to go but, all the okay. way. Uh, all all, all friends. Remember, these are just high school kids with high school friends. <laughs> all, okay, all friends, and then he ends up with the teacher. And uh, it basically shows in a couple years. I think perfect. That is the only exception. Okay, that's fine. Wait, are you, and, you wouldn't be okay with killer? These are cartoons. Uh, it's <laughs> anime. It's not real, so it's fine. Okay. But it feels so real, man. I love Hachibot so much. Uh, but what if he ends up with Saki? Brian would be fine with it, but what about you, Ku? No, either either uh, Shizuka Sensei or Yukino. That's it. All right, all right, all right. Nothing else. All right. Last thoughts, anybody? Nobody. No. Oh. This show. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So, hey, we'll just we'll, every episode we'll just see if any something crazy happens, and then I'll, we'll just be waiting for it. But that will yeah. end our segment for Snafu. Next, we will talk about sh- Food Wars. Shokugeki no Soma. I don't care about the show. <laughs> Dude, the show looks so stupid. I, yeah. oh, I can't. You got the cloud that has the the pressure cooker jumping no, balls. Makes... You got you got the the, <laughs> the, the meth, you got the meth man that, that pumps blood into food. You got this crazy girl with the chainsaw that has like attachments at the end to to spice it just right. Like, oh my god. Yeah. I hate show, man. Yeah. I just wanted to be over honestly. Yeah. End it off. No. Yeah. Fuck. They... I was legit reading comments like, dude, this show is 
so, I'm paraphrasing, but this show is so shit. I legit went back to season one and season two and rewatched that, and it was way better. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Like, like, like I, I love the show so much. Like, it was so good. Like, what? No, oh, not not this season. Yeah, past tense. Past tense. Because uh, the first, second, even the third season, I think were fine. Then the fourth, you knew it was it was kind of leading towards trouble. And then this one, it's just like it's just kind of completely just it's just crashed. It's just oh god. Um, it's when they were kind of like when they were just like <laughs> when they were preparing the meat. I just thought it was so dumb when this chick just busts out the chainsaw, and I'm just thinking, oh god, what the hell is this gonna be? And they're just he's just she's just randomly chainsawing this thing. And it, the only special thing to this meat was just, like, she infused it with spices that were on, like, the, the teeth of the chainsaw. I'm thinking, oh, my God, this is just dumb. This is dumb as hell. And I thought, like, this can't get any worse than this. And then they they came up to the fucking clown that just put up food in balls and just juggled them. And somehow they became hot and cooked. I'm thinking, Christ. <laughs> Dude, the, uh, the, the fucking, uh, the, the guillotine girl, <laughs> she had, like, that jack. Oh, my arm. God, yeah. <laughs> Dude. What? <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Did, what you didn't see it, Brian? Brian, you got no, I was. I'm just. What is her purpose? Her Dude. purpose is to jack up that, like slice things so thin for guillotine to make it tender, I guess. But that shit was just ridiculous. Like I thought the clown was ridiculous, or the the guy that had the the blood injectors. But yeah, this girl came out of nowhere, looking like completely normal, just completely jacked up. Like she uses her one hand, or one arm for just you know something, and then just starts <laughs> chopping, just starts just chopping the meat. I really just hate this show, man. Yeah, it's... Oh, I just yeah. wanted to be over so bad so I don't have to watch it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I still feel like this, this this shit is rigged for noir. I mean, it just it just sounds it, like more and more. It is. Um, the, the, the dumb thing is, like, they didn't really... Like, they, I don't, they probably just didn't... They, they either didn't show us... Because, like, they basically... Like, that one lady just... it was All it was was meat and spices. There was nothing else. That, that was it. And she was able, she was able to pass. Which that and then blue, well, that was uh the uh, what's her name blue the chainsaw Jane? the chainsaw lady I don't know I don't know where it doesn't matter what oh, her name is Sarge I think what? her name was Sarge or something Sarge yeah yeah so, wait what do you mean Sarge dude Sarge there's like lady. that that first test though stupid people were coming up red like what's her name blue hair girl other one Megumi Megumi yeah Megumi she legit yeah. all she had was a plate of meat <laughs> and it was shaped <laughs> like a flower no that wasn't even it that was just uh. Like they just copied that image from something else that's been done before. You're like, lying. No, I, I legit. I, I, <laughs> it's, it's the. Um, yeah, no, no. I, it was actually the image from the very first season where uh, where Rasoma was was fighting uh, Nikumi, and then that was the dish that she made. Like it was that 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 rose peel off with the the flower beef. Oh my god! Uh, was it really? Yeah, oh, I think that's yeah. what it was. That's your specialty, I don't know. I don't yeah. care. I, it's, it's, Rehashing images, oh boy. Like the, I, I don't know what Aldini's thing was, but I, I'm for sure pretty pretty confident that's what Megumi presented, see, which was bullshit. We didn't get, we didn't even know what they got what they did because they basically just showed us an image of it and moved on. Bro, bro, <laughs> honestly, I don't even want them to explain how they cooked it anymore because it makes zero fucking sense. Mm. I don't care. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure I'm not I'm not a chef or anything, but for me. I'd rather my steak be cooked first, and then I'm pretty sure they had steak. Steak be cooked first, and then I cut into it and see all oh, the juice. My mouth is watering, but I feel like when you cut it so thin, like this jackrabbit fuck, <laughs> you lose everything. It's like I don't. Yeah. I see, I, I base. I think it's actually like I actually think what we're seeing is what we what what the manga was as well. Because um, I remember what David was saying. That this is like around the time where uh, he lost like his like source, and I believe like he still had you know when he lost his source, he still had to continue writing, but he had to like kind of opt out of all those things because he had no idea how to do it on his own. Like he definitely needed help with like the whole cooking pr- the whole cooking stuff, and right. I think it's because he doesn't know how to do it or how it mm-hmm. you know, how it makes any sense. So I believe he has to just show us a picture of what looks good, but not tell us how it was made. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and now, mean, and now instead of like actually telling us like what it's made out of, like how it's made, or uh, sorry, like what it's made out of, like all the special things, like secret ingredients and stuff they're using, now it's just ridiculous means of making the meat or making the food, like with you know, hence the chainsaw or like the blood, like like injectors and also you know, taking the blood out and re- reinjecting it with something else, or um, the clown guy, or the jackhammer rabbit. Yeah, it's just a bunch of sci-fi theories that he's just throwing in there for yep. the hell of it. Just terrible. It's like, it's just ridiculous. 
but I mean, I don't know, like, but even then, if that was true, you can easily just hire another chef, right? I, I, I feel like that's not uh, legit just because there's so many ways around that. So yeah, that's true. Um, I, I don't think it's true. I think he's just burnt out. Like, what if he's just burnt out? You know, it could be. He would just he just wants to go back to to you know to making hentai. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, habits that hard. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I mean, maybe. Yeah, whichever. Um. How about, there was something else too. Uh, there was one more one more thing I wanted to say, but I don't remember. It's uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just oh, I'm just waiting for the superpowers to come in. You know, like those uh, those family powers that are that are passed on by uh, by law and not actually birth or uh, you know, blood. Like the was it oh, yeah. Irina's uh, dad? You know. Yeah, the power to take off the clothes. Yeah, yeah, basically bust clothes and bust other people's clothes. You know, those things. I'm just waiting for some ridiculous... I'm just waiting for that to come back in. Because, you know, he's going to play that card at some point. Right? I mean, just... if it's Erina's mom, you know, I might, <laughs> you know, take one exception, you know? Yeah. We don't even know if she looks like it, though. You know? Dude, I don't know. Maybe I'm sure it's fine. Reason... Dude, I don't know. Maybe it's getting... I'm kind of intrigued now. Because maybe that's the reason <laughs> why they haven't shown her yet. Because they're afraid that once they look at her, like, it'll just pop off, you know? Maybe. I don't know. That's just... Yeah, who knows? Yeah, that's just me. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I don't even remember how the episode ended. I I, uh, I was at this point just kind of like hate, hate and depressing watching it. I was oh, de- they looked a fucking cliffhanger. It's it's Sarge and Soma fighting off oh, in the right. tournament. Cause okay. The tournament's starting now. Okay, right. you just triggered me because you remind me what the fuck she cooked. <laughs> this oh, yeah, that's right! Bitch Christmas legit cake? blew up an oven. <laughs> she blew up an oven took a ja- took a giant hammer took chocolate just crushed it uh what the fuck <laughs> i forgot explosive shit explosive <laughs> firecracker chocolate yeah. fucking cake suck my dick <laughs> that's so fucking stupid <laughs> Oh, oh, you better right. cover your ears. You don't want to fucking lose your hearing. Yeah. Bitch, it's a fucking micro... Oh, my God. Dude. I forgot all about that. I'm so triggered. I didn't even care about this episode. And just, and just how the, how chaotic she made it. It just looked like this, you know, this perfectly delicate cake. Oh, my That's God. Right. How did she make such a delicate cake with such chaotic <laughs> methods? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, maybe we would know if they actually, you know, animated half the shit instead of just showing us images. So stupid. God, I forgot all about that. Ugh. Okay. Well, anyway, I can't really say I'm uh, too hyped for next episode, but we'll see. We'll see if they even bother to go over like Soma's stuff, or they're basically, or he's just, they're just going to show the dish to him, and then just move on. Like, they're going to show the dish, their clothes explode. They have like, oh, like this makes me feel like this way, and then Soma wins, and then moves on. And uh, I wonder if they're actually going to just going to like pay attention. Or they're actually going to go into details with anybody else's. Like Megamines or uh, or Aldini's, or if they're just gonna skip it and just move Probably on. Probably not. So I mean, what they're halfway through the season already, and there it feels like there's so much more they have left to do. They have more, so many people they have to beat still, and it just seems like a ridiculous amount of stuff that's gonna happen. I mean, at this point, all I really care about is seeing Erina's mom, see what she looks like, and then seeing who uh, Soma like ships with. We, it's it's Erina. Erina's mom is literally only oh, look, look just like Erina. <laughs> Dude, my favorite mom though in this show is definitely uh, is definitely Alice's mom. Like when they like like half spoke English, um, from way back. The silver hair. Yeah, silver hair. Yeah, yeah. That that was that was just hilarious episodes. Every time I hear it, I hear English. It's it's my favorite favorite moments. But anyway, yeah, that's all I got. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens for next week. Anybody else? Last thought. You know, last thoughts. Good to go. Nope. Fuck this show. Fair enough. <laughs> It seems like there's, <laughs> was it, Snafu and both show food wars that you are not enjoying so much Snafu, this season. I just don't mind. This show, I actually just want it to be over. Yeah, it's like, yeah, the show, I don't even hate watch. I just feel it's just so bad. I feel just depressed, like what the show could have been. But anyway, True. okay, we're on to our final show. That the we're best show. About. Rent a Girlfriend. The best show. Cool. Oh my lord. Go for it. Ah, uh, there's so many things. No mommy chan. I mean there there, there kinda of was, but they just showed her yeah. like it was like that one scene, right? And oh um, and his and his thoughts. 
Yeah, it's awesome. Dude, like, I can't believe they showed that. It was just so <laughs> weird. You got this guy that's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that it's all said and done, I'm going to get with Mommy Chad. Yeah, and it's like just jerking off to her, and then he's having sex with no, oh, me. No, Hello? yeah, dude. The, the, funny, the funny part about that, cool, is just like he basically just busts out the phone. He's like, well, I suppose I could do this. <laughs> right? Oh, look at that. New material. Let's yeah. go. Oh, dude. my lord. That that was uh, just how they busted that. I was hilarious. I actually thought that was that was really funny. I was like, yeah, I remember those days. <laughs> just oh, do you? Oh, oh right, you know, something just comes up and you're like, ah, eh, I suppose I got the time for this. <laughs> Let's do man, this. What a, what an animal. Jeez. At least oh, I have God. to set up my candles. I need to darken the, the room. Got to got to relax. You know. But, but the serious. But the oh, dude, but, but the question. Here. But the question I really want to know though. Did he finish? Oh, something. <laughs> yeah, of course he finished. What they even showed him like crumpling up at the end but but did he because he seemed like he was having some uh you know back and forth moments in his mind that seemed that was a little bit difficult i mean i think he was having difficult deciding who who he wanted to finish it with um but it turns out it was with chizuru because that's why he was like oh man i think i'm in love you know but he didn't have those thoughts with her though you know basically mom you know mommy chan he had the thoughts where he was just destroying but the other one was basically uh you know normal well thoughts maybe in his head you know he wanted to do the things but like like copy and paste Chizuru's face on mommy's body, you know, but he still wanted to do <laughs> certain things. Um, maybe. Brian, by the way, you should watch the show. <laughs> dude, it's amazing, <laughs> dude. It's amazing show. Totally oh, watch it. Good. Yeah, I, I, it's. Hmm. I'm. I'm definitely just you know, tired again. I, they, they really, at this point, should really just stop mentioning, like, oh, like, you know, when this is all over, I'm just going to tell them that we broke up. It's like. Dude, we're five episodes in. Just quit saying it. Quit saying it. It's not gonna happen. Even though Chizuru, I mean, we, we, we just need did... to accept the fact yeah. that it's it's not gonna be a good show. So. Oh yeah, but Chizuru did say though that she actually wanted to give up on it. You know, kind of like you know saying you know making it sound like, you know, oh she's having you know, some second thoughts about him, with some you know about some stuff, which is weird though. We're halfway through the show and we have yet to see the other two girls. No, they're gonna be shown in the next episode. Or both or one because uh, the previous show's one. one. Okay. The, the the blue haired chick. Yep. I think. Yep. Yep. No idea who she is yet, but <clears throat> but it's crazy how you have like you're, you're trying to make this, like this harem and you're taking this long to introduce them. Like you already know that they're not going to be anywhere like the main two. So it, at this point, because it's just like the, it's so far like from you know from like the beginning of the show that they're introducing them. Mm, um, I mean, I, I think it's fine. Oh no, it's still fine. But the, you, you know, they're just pointless. They're not, they're gonna have no they're gonna have no shot, and they're gonna be there for like fan service stuff. You know? Yeah, I don't do know. we think though? Are they also rented girls, or do you think these are? Do you think they're related to somebody, or do you think they're just going to be some random girls at school that also um, have to show up? Well, judging from what I've seen, it, it looks like it might be a possible rented girlfriend, um, just because they, they, the, the preview shows him seeing her by himself, like in on, in the streets, mm. and then it shows them in a cafe sitting across from each other by themselves. So it's possible that it's another uh, rented girlfriend, and then the the title for the next episode is girlfriend and girlfriend. So so maybe that might be it. I suppose yeah, yeah, it could be. Uh, yeah. But but I don't know. He already said he was broke though. Like how is he still affording these people? I mean, from last I checked, he still had like fifty or sixty dollars or six hundred dollars left. So I don't know. I, I thought he burned everything. I didn't think he had anything left. Uh. Um, I don't know. Wait, how much does it cost to rent one of these girlfriends? Oh boy, I think Cheezer is like top notch. I forgot she's like the most expensive, isn't she? I think it's like two hundred dollars, maybe one two hundred dollars. Why did you say he's got like fifty or a hundred <laughs> bucks left? No, no, it was like I think six hundred dollars or whatever. Because oh, at the beginning, at the beginning of the show, they show him like where he got money from like his parents. He's like, okay, we aren't giving you any more. That this is basically the money you're gonna get, and he immediately <laughs> spends half of it on a rent a girl. <laughs> or oh, not, yeah, not immediately, but over time. Yeah, so his dad gave him ten grand for his first year of college, and I think it's once a month, right? Or is that only for per year? Oh, what do you mean? He oh, gets ten grand a month? No, for, uh, for college, just for right? the college season, yeah, for the college year. <clears throat> so he gets ten grand. Oh, so it's ten grand for the year. He's ten grand for the Whole year. year I believe, okay. Yeah. Yep. Whole okay. Year. Yeah. So. Yep. Confirmed by chat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh. So yeah, I don't know. And they, they keep showing him his money. They haven't for a while, but they, they just mentioned he was broke. But you could def- But at some point, though, they did show, like, half of his money was gone. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not, that's why I thought that maybe it was um, 
like each session was a certain amount, but uh, yeah, wasn't it hourly? Because I'm pretty sure it's hourly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but apparently she's not the most expensive. It's just uh, she's a newbie. No. I had I had Rise, just, a rising star. I would have just assumed she was like you know okay so does hourly. I just assi- yeah. I just assumed she was like top notch. Um, oh, that's right. Other extra expenses. It's um, yeah. I, I I don't know. It's the the episode was definitely limited to mommy, which was awesome. Didn't have to deal with her too much. Um, there was like a slight character development with them, and then the episode. How did the episode end? They basically just they just said like they just wanted to quit, kind of trying to end like end the relationship. Um, yeah, basically they're kind of caught where they. They can't like their grandmothers are forced them too hard to make them ship. Oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. they're like, you know, what? fuck it, just try it. And then it looks like she's starting to catch feelings for him too, just because he saved her and whatnot. And yeah. then she's he's starting to catch feelings for her as well. But I feel like I feel like with with how the previews is, is setting them up, it feels like they're going to like try to get something started. But then Cheezer ends up breaking his heart, so he goes out and rents another girlfriend, which is this new chick. Uh, and then like you know, back to square one. So. I just thought maybe um, if it was just like all this stuff with Cheezer, like if maybe like if he won't even like you know talk to her, like let's just say he just wants to move on, and basically say like I put her through enough, and then he wants to then you know rent another somebody else to kind of yeah, like probably for just to you know just to either change it up or basically just to you know leave her alone because of like how much shit like he he put her through. I mean he put her through like the entire thing like on the beach, which you know she was not you know for any of that. Yeah. But yeah, this uh, new girl doesn't seem half bad though. It looks, she looks like she's one of those uh, sporty types girls, so it'll be a, a nice change. See, so it looks like they're going to introduce different types of girls uh, in this show. So I think that's pretty nice. Which is fine. I mean, do we think uh, are we going to see like less and less of mommy, or do you think mommy is just going to interfere in every single time? I feel like she will, but she won't be like a main focus anymore. It'll be like those ridiculous stories where like you know, you know she'll end up seeing him with a different girl, and then there's going to be like a whole another story that's going on. Probably, yeah. and then that kind of whole that whole situation is gonna happen. But I don't know. I'm just, yeah. but I'm gonna keep watching the show. I, I, honestly, I, I think this was like my favorite show, like fa- favorite episode. Uh, this was the most enjoyable because like the whole like the whole scene with him in his apartment. <laughs> I was not I was not expecting that at all, and I I was just laughing. I was like, oh damn! I was like, we're really gonna do this right here. Oh, and I just thought it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like that completely caught me off guard, but yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. Yeah. It was good, but it, but also the MC. I did not have any really reason to hate him this episode. Um, I, I wouldn't say redemption yet, but you know the lines the lines holding steady right now. He didn't go up. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna. I feel like I'm gonna have to take back what I said about him oh redeeming himself. Oh it's not looking so hot. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing even happened like, this episode, though. You know, no, like even though he's still thinking about me, but. After seeing him fapping up to to mommy and the Chizuru, like I, I, I think he's a, I think he's a lost cause. But since, but since you certain can relate to him, you know maybe maybe he can redeem himself. Who knows? <laughs> maybe we'll see. Uh, yeah, but I mean that, that's that's all I got. <laughs> yeah, Brian, doesn't this just make you want to watch the show? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Are you sure? Show so, I don't know, dude. This I show keep... is so good. It's dude, so good. It's... I kind of want to start watching it. It's pretty. It's pretty fun. <laughs> it's, it's pretty enjoyable and kind of just ridiculous and fun to watch in a different way of sort art. You will. You will definitely hate the MC though, for probably. I mean, up to now, because it's. It seems like Ku was holding hope, and then he still seems like he hates the guy. So, or he hates yeah. the guy now. No, I, I don't. I don't, I don't hate the guy. I'm just, I just lost hope in him. I, okay. I think he's gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. unredeemable at this point. Gotcha. Okay. Um. So I guess that we will wrap that up. Uh, do you wanna? Is there anything you wanna mention with the demon, the demon show? Um, uh, anything really noteworthy or no? I'm still planning on watching it. I just haven't got to it yet. Yeah, n- nothing no- noteworthy. It's just it's starting to fall, like follow these generic pl- uh, plots. So oh, it's, gotcha. Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. Well, all right. Well, I'm I'm, I'm still planning on watching it, so I will do that at one point. Um, any other shows that anybody's watching or want to mention? Um, I do got to say, uh, the Uzaki Chan, mm-hmm. um, show that I'm watching, I'm still enjoying it. Uh, every episode is, it, it's pretty funny. It makes me laugh and it's, it's very heartwarming. Just the relationship that the Ooh. MC and the, the main girl has. So, uh, and what if you like, this one, cool? I like heartwarming. Uh, 
Uzaki-chan wants to hang out. Hmm. Or something like that. that. It's like yeah. uh, I think like Japanese like Uzaki Chan or uh, Asobi Tai or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Which basically like means like wants to hang out type of thing. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, but it's a slice of life uh, anime, so add to that. And I guess it's not for you, but it's yeah. it's, it's it's pretty enjoyable. I love so. slice of life. So at this point, which one would you rather? Which one would you recommend me first, the demon one or Uzaki? Uzaki. Uh, Uzaki. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, because again, this like for me, I like. I, I do enjoy slice of life and um, like these heartwarming relationships that that characters develop. I, you know, it, to me, it's enjoyable to watch. Um, the 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 Demon King one is kind of just a guilty pleasure. It's uh, it's it's a guy <laughs> or it's just I mean, just generic OP MC characters. Um, I I don't know. I, I feel like as as a guy, I just have to watch it. Just to okay. see what, <laughs> so, uh, I'll watch Uzaki Chan first. Okay, sounds good. Any other, sh- any other shows? Anybody else uh, kind of like last, uh, last remarks? Fruits Basket continues to be solid and perfect. Absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Okay. Um, oh, and that uh, Koito producer show is uh, about a C plus, which is where I was predicting to rate it at. I don't hmm. think there's a whole lot there for anyone. Hmm. We got nothing. There was a. I am watching. I am still actually watching Digimon, and I know there was people that were talking about like in the original season or the original show where it took them forever to kind of like digivolve or change from like those little uh, balls. I don't know. I don't know what they're called, but uh, we're on episode ten, and there already there's already been a super evolution um, super to evolution. to oh, to Metal Greymon. Um, yeah, so the, I mean, I, I think they're moving fast. Like the, the animation for Metal Greymon looks so sick. Uh, just like how they how, how he ended up at Digivolving, it looked really cool. What are you What are you doing? Why are you? It's not super evolution. If it's 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 a mega evolution. It's it's uh, baby form rookie champion. Or well, no no ultimate ultimate form. But this yeah, is super. Form. This is super evolution though, because isn't there? So in the translations that uh, Crunchyroll provided. It said Super Evolution. <laughs> it's garbage. Just just stop watching it. Watch the original. Because it's stupid. Because it goes, it has evolution and then Super Evolution, and I would assume a Mega Evolution at some point. That's my. No. That's that's what I assume. I don't know. I'm just because I didn't watch the original yeah. series. Okay. okay. Well, well, in the original, <laughs> it's it's the baby forms. I forgot yes. what their I forgot what theirs is, and then there's rookies, and then there's champions, which is like Greymon. And then I think it was uh, Metal Greymon. That's yep. Ultimate Form. Metal Greymon. And the War War Greymon is the Mega Form. War. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. Next yeah. next episode, they preview that uh, uh, um, the Wolf. I don't know what his name is. Gururumon. Guru Gururumon. Yeah. Yeah. His uh his his uh. Well, I, I was about to say Super Evolution, but his Mega Evolution is next episode. If anybody's interested, so the evolution makes him look or the animation makes him look really nice. I feel like if I watch it and I see Super on the screen, I'm just gonna trip. So no, <laughs> I can't. I can't, man. You I'll, can't just be changing shit like that, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll do some. Uh, I'll do some research and I'll find us. I'll find like a like a a correct subtitle group that actually says you know Mega Evolution instead of Super. That's like that's like going from Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball Super, and instead of being Super Saiyan, they're Ultra Saiyans or some shit like that. Like you can't just <laughs> change it and then have it be like canon or okay. No, you. you just, no. Okay. No. All right. Well, oh, that, I'm done. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do some research. I'll let you guys know next week. Okay. Brian, are we done? Anybody else have anything? Nope. Okay. Nope. Well, that will wrap up this week's episode. We will be back next week with, uh, I believe, the original host, the the correct host. Uh, good job, Brian. Starting up that uh, the beginning the beginning intro. I will have in the outtake. I will have in the outtakes at the end at the uh, for the podcast when I have it done of uh, my attempt at the intro, oh, which was uh, was something else. So if you're interested, just you know, just wait till after the uh, the end credits and you guys can uh, you know check that out. But thank you guys for joining this week. Thank you uh, listeners as well for joining us and uh, for who's been here from the beginning to the end. Thank you. You're awesome. You carry the show. Thank you for the insight and rented girlfriend. If, uh, but if any other shows that we talk about that we either missed, missed something, we talked too long about, 
uh, you know, just message us in the comments or just you know li live chat us as well, and we can try to try to change things on the go. But, but alright, we will wrap it up here, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 Hello everyone. Uh, okay, try. Let's try again. <laughs> First, uh, dude, I, I should really uh, hold on. Let me delete this. What's up, everybody? Because it's just confusing me when I try to read it. Dude, just okay. doing your what's own style. What's up, everybody? Okay. I should. Welcome I should. Back yep. to the Anime Easy Kaya Podcast, <laughs> week six of the summer 2020 season. On this show, go. we'll be discussing the current season of anime era every single week. I'm not your host, <laughs> David. And uh, we're uh, yep, and there you go, Shred. Uh, yeah, we can keep it. I'm not we, gonna lie. We just, just give it to Brian. Man. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll just keep it. We'll, we'll move on from there. And now the, the people that are joining us, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is the perfect intro. <laughs> oh, God.